Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. We got a very, very cool video going on. We are going to sharpen Damascus. Yes, you heard me right. We're gonna sharpen Damascus. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. There's gonna be so many more videos like this coming out. So I got the knife in the work sharp. We're using the work sharp today. I, <laughs> all my loyal work sharp fans, this is it. We're going to get this knife as sharp as can be. So in just a couple seconds, you'll get to watch me sharpen it from start to finish. And I'll tell you everything about it. But I did want to mention one thing. One thing before we begin. I have been selling these lapping films for over a year. And I have sold thousands of these. And I can tell you without a doubt, there is absolutely no better way to get a mere finish than when you buy these lapping films uh, from me. And when, when you buy them, you get an envelope like this, you get the directions here. So after we go through the grits, then we start with step one, go to step two, step three, step four, step five, and then the final polishing step is about 40 to 60,000 uh, grit. And we're gonna do this old school, so I got these. And I also include a transparency film, so when you guys are done using these, you can just set them on this film, and uh, that seems to work pretty good. So without further ado, I am going to get started. I'll just get these, I'll show you what these look like, by the way. So these are perfectly cut for the work sharp. 100% perfect. There's no mistakes, it's, you know, each one is perfectly cut. <laughs> So there's no better way to get a mirror finish on your edge than to use those. So we will set those aside and we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, so here's the first step. You gotta put the knife in the vise. I've already done that. Um, and you gotta screw it down very, very tight. Not so tight you break the unit, but tight enough where it's not gonna go back and forth. Then you wanna make sure you generally set the angle correctly. If you're new to knife sharpening, I recommend sticking with the factory bevel. And I'll zoom into that right now. Uh, this would be basically the factory bevel where that little, little tiny uh, silver spot is right there. And the way we can kind of figure that out is you just grab your Sharpie and Sorry about that. You just put a little, a little, uh, a little marker. Just run it across. I've been doing it this way for a long time. Um, if you're more advanced, you know, uh, you can, <laughs> you can do it your own way and skip this step. But for those that are kind of beginners, you want to start that way, and you want to pick whatever grit you have. If you have the basic kit, it, uh, it comes with 320 and 600 and then the ceramic, I would take the 600, and that's what I got here, this is the 600. I actually have the extended pack with a few more grits, but um, you start with the 600 and you just gradually see where that's hitting on the, on the knife. And as you can see, it's taken off marker pretty much exactly where we want it. So we are going to leave it like that. That's at about 23 degrees, in case you guys are wondering. Now we take this out we want to start with our lowest grit. Now, since I have the extended pack, I'm going to start with 220. But if you only have 320, that's just fine. And then we're going to start working on each side, just making strokes up and down like, like this. Sounds pretty rough, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but that's what you need to do to get the edge um, correctly. And you can see it's starting to work starting to take it off. Now this process takes quite a bit of time if you want to do it right. You just go real gently up and down just like that and if you want you can kind of balance with your thumb so it doesn't move a whole lot. And you want to get all the way to the tip but not go too far. You see that's about that's about perfect how I'm doing that. And you just keep doing this a little bit. And then when you feel like, you know, on different knives, this part's gonna take a lot longer. But when you feel like you've got to the right part, then you just flip it. And you work a little bit on the other side. So the way you flip it is in the back here, um, it's hard to see, but you just push this button and then you tilt the knife uh, like that. And now I got the marker still on the other side. We haven't ground anything up. And now we're gonna start that. 
can see how it's starting to come off there. I know it's uh, it's kind of hard to video the whole the whole exact thing. Kind of have to have it at an angle. But I think you guys can kind of see what's going on. And you just you don't need to push real hard. You just go you know nice and easy. There's no question this is for the price, this is the best system that there is for getting a, a perfect mirror, mirror edge. And again, we've kind of we've kind of went across the whole knife. Now I do usually take a rag on each step. I like to just wipe it a little bit, um, and I can tell that's already it's already. You can already feel a burr forming. That's kind of what you're going for, is that burr. But again, you just gotta go real easy. This takes a while. This might take a half hour, 45 minutes. I'll probably speed it up a little bit, but that's how long it takes to get that, that perfect mirror. And you wanna spend more time at the tip, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna push over like that and round it. You just kinda go up to the tip, and then you kinda just, go real easy, <laughs> you know. But the tips do take longer because these were sharpened on a belt grinder, not a unit like this. Okay, let's, uh, let's flip it again over. And uh, let's do this side again. I actually use this knife. This is the Civivi Imperium, and uh, I really like it. So I thought, well, I should probably, probably get it right. I think it's about 85 bucks for real, true, decent Damascus. When I was a kid, you could only get Damascus for like a thousand dollars on a knife. <laughs> uh, and now you kind of got to be careful where you buy it from, but Civivi seems to do a pretty good job. Again, I'm just going real easy on that tip. I don't want to screw it up. And I kind of just hold it here a little bit. The knife does flex. That's the, you know, this is the difference between a, a $50, $60 sharpening system and, you know, a $1,000 one. Uh, you got to make do with what you got. So that's what we do. Now I'm going to feel, see if I can feel a burr. Oh, yeah. Now I can feel a burr across the entire edge of the uh, of the unit. So in that case, what we're gonna do, just to be even, we will work a little bit more on this side. I'll just do this about the same. That'll flip the burr to the other side. But we're getting an equal, we wanna do about equal strokes if the angle is correct original. If the geometry was incorrect, you might have to you might have to spend more time, but in my case, I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I can already feel it. I can already feel it mostly flipped. So I'll just work a little bit more. I'm not pushing hard at all. And that, now I can move on to the next grit, which in our case, and I flip it, is going to be 320. Because remember, I got this other stone where it goes to, it goes 220, 
320 and then 400. That's what you get with this extended pack. I think it's like another 50 bucks, but you don't need that. But since I got it, I figured I'll use it. What we're doing is we're refining the edge at this point. We already got the right angle. Now we're just refining the edge, making it ever so slightly sharper with each grit. But if you don't get it right in the beginning, all these other ones won't matter. And a lot that's where a lot of people have a problem. They don't get it right to begin with. So. feel a spot where it feels like there should be a little bit more burr, you just go back and you just work that, that area a little bit more. one to the next one which is 400 and we'll uh, wipe it and now we'll go to 400 There's more than one way to use this work sharp 
Um, some people might have a slightly different motion or way. This is how I do it, and it's been working pretty well. So if you find a different way, feel free to explore that, that way. If it works for you, that's what's important. expanded pack I got 600 and 800 and then we'll move to the lapping films so this is 600 and you can tell right away it's, it's a lot smoother side and then once on the other and it's good to wipe these uh, with a, a new a new uh, a new cloth <laughs> you don't want to contaminate them or the knife so start using different cloths as you move up to wipe the knife otherwise you risk contamination you don't want that I know that sometimes my hands are in the way here It's not the most steep angle, 23, but I, I don't mind it on this particular knife. You can do whatever you, whatever you choose um, on your knife. So if you want to make that a little bit more steeper, you can. It's just gonna, it's gonna take a little bit more time. Okay, here we go. This is this other side now. Some people um, might stop right there um, and move on, you know, to just, that might be it <laughs> for some people. But for us, we're gonna keep going. So I do have this, like I said, with this extended pack, I do have an 800 grit one. So I'm gonna put that on. Um, as you can see, that's 800. And we will uh, we'll move through, we'll move through with 800. Careful if you do that, you won't cut yourself. Less and less burr. Here's 800.
up it. This is a good time to uh, wipe the blade and the diamond. little sweeping motion. And then we'll do one more time on each side. And then we'll move to the lapping films, which is the next step. do that I'll show you just gonna flip this again set it out of the way and I am going to go back to this view this is the ceramic we're gonna start out with our 30 micron Stick that on there, line it up. I made these just a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to put on, but that's what you do. You just do it like that. Now it's ready to go. And now we'll zoom back in here. I got the lapping film on. And then in this case, now you wanna kinda go you want to go down. You really don't want to go back. I have, you know, I have seen people go back, but you risk cutting it. So I advise you're better off just doing it like this. And this is really smooth. This, <laughs> this really refines it. Flip it. And by the way, a lot of people might be wondering, 600 on the lapping films is not even close to 600 on the, the diamonds. You would think that, but it, to me, it's more like much great, much higher. So this is how I do it, and it, it, it works very well. You can see that's getting it really good. In fact, um, what you can do is if you have this stuff here, which is like a, it's like a chamois cloth, uh, just chamois, you can sometimes clean some of that up. I got some of it. <laughs> Works better on the finer. So now flip it again. We're just gonna do this a few times. sweep. 
just like that. And by the way, you want to be really careful because this is really sharp. I see some people go like this. If you really go lightly, like I'm not even putting much pressure, you might be able to get away. I don't like that though because you'll probably cut the thing. So you're better off not, not doing it like that. I'm not responsible if you guys do that. It's just a little faster. Um, good time to wipe it again. Just you know, continually wipe. Do one more here. I know I say don't do that, and then you see me doing this. You really shouldn't, because these will these will scratch. one off and this is where the um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here this is where the film the transparency film thing comes in you can reuse these just by putting them on this film and now move to the next one which is 10 micron or uh, 12 <laughs> sorry and that just sticks on here as well Pretty, pretty nice, you know, it doesn't take much and you got a little bit of overlap on every side. Um, that's how you want it. And then, I um, can't remember if I wiped that, but you wanna keep wiping that. And now we'll, we'll move to this next one, make sure that's on there. This is 12. And uh, you really shouldn't go up and down. I don't even know why I do that, but because I've cut a lot of these this way, but kind of speeds it up. It's like buttery smooth right now. I'll flip it. Same thing, just real gently. If you're gonna do that, just go gently. You might even get to see me cut one. it again with a fresh fresh side of this and I'm gonna also clean the, the thing when you're done with these just use rubbing alcohol on these if you just take a little paper towel and rubbing alcohol that'll clean off any dirtiness and that's how you can reuse these for a while sharp already guys I can just I can just tell okay we will flip it back and I'm gonna take this off and show you again you just take this off it just peels and that can be stuck back onto onto here one which is nine that's the sticky if you guys are thinking about buying these um, 
I recommend buying them from myself because they're perfectly cut and you don't have to screw around with that. And then uh, it saves you a lot of time on your sharpening. You can buy these without, you know, um, dealing with, you know, you, you just have to cut them yourself. You do that a few times and <laughs> it's kind of a pain. again. You can see it's starting to get a, a uh, an edge. Just put that on there, and then those can be reused later. This is three. And that's fine. If you don't get it the first time, you just move it over a little bit. Just like so. And now we got three here. Man. This is where it's real easy to, to cut one of these going like the way I am. So don't really recommend that but whatever you can see it you can see it starting to really polish up side like that. Let me just clean it in again. That with that one, so we'll take that off and we'll put it on our film to be cleaned in a little bit. Those are all the ones we've used, and now we'll go to uh, 
this is one micron. This should, you know, for all intents and purposes, this will get it, uh, this will get it perfection here. <laughs> this is for all the nuts out there that really want a sharp knife that's sharper than everybody else's. See, it's already got a nice mirror. I'll zoom into that after we're done, but it's already, it's already nice. This is just really sick. And this is where, if you take a magnifying glass, you'll be able to see the slight imperfections now on the uh, what you did earlier. Sometimes, you know, you don't get it quite perfect. And uh, now you can see it. <laughs> so one more time with this. This one off, and um, sometimes it's easier to clean them with the alcohol while they're on there. So you, that's up to you guys how you want to do that. But this is the final one. This is the forty to sixty thousand grit. Here, put that on the ceramic. Finish it up. Be very careful because now it's pretty sharp. Any wrong move will cut these things. Do it again. Clean all this crap up again. Just don't want any contamination. Really sharp. This is the finale right now. Just a few strokes. Really shouldn't go up and down. And 
just for just for the hell of it, I'll do this one more time real light. Guys, is it? We'll take this last one off, set it aside. We'll put it on our sheet here. Now we got all our films that we can reuse. I'm gonna zoom this back out, and now I'm gonna take this out of here, move that aside. Got to be really careful. <laughs> this is super sharp. Just wipe it one more time. Here's that, those films, what they look like after they're used. <clears throat> Let's zoom back into that edge and see what we, uh, what we see. This is where some guys might have said, well, why didn't you do more of a steep angle like 20 or 18 or 19? You could have, you could have done that. That would have just taken a, a little bit longer. Um, let's just see if it's very sharp here. Um, over right here. I mean, it's, it's amazingly sharp. That's how you do it guys on the work sharp so if you like what you saw if you made it this far um, please do leave a thumbs up that helps me a lot and uh, you guys can do this too it's really not that hard um, I just took a, a knife that was under a hundred bucks Damascus and made it about ten times sharper than it ever was from the factory and it was pretty sharp from the factory already but now it's just I mean, it's out of this world, sharp. Thanks a lot for checking out this video again. Um, let me know what you think. How do you guys like the work sharp? And, and better yet, how do you like these lapping films? Holy crap. Have these ever worked good for everybody or what? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And if you need these, uh, shoot me an email. Sweetknives2020 at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.